Hello and welcome to PM Studios Photoshop Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do gold text. Um, it's, it's a nice, real snazzy looking text font if it's done properly. So let's go ahead and start with File New. And go ahead and make your document whatever size you like. I'm going to make mine my standard, which is 1920 by 1280. So go ahead and create that new document. And now we are going to give it a black background, like always. Um, so go ahead and create the new layer, open up the text. You don't have to create the new layer, by the way, you can just click on the text form and click on the, the window and it'll create a new little text layer for you. Alright, so for this one in particular, um, I'm going to use Brush Script MT, or Brush Script Standard, simply because I found that this text effect looks really good when you do it on scripts. It also looks, um, it, it has its own unique look depending on what, uh, what text font or what font you use. Uh, like for instance, Arial will give you more of a, a rock kind of text, whereas scripts kind of give you a, a more retro kind of look to it. So, for this one, we're going to do the uh, the um, the retro. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and type in whatever you want. For us, it's going to be the shameless insert, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and center that, and then open up the layer styles. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do an outer glow, bevel, contour, um, color overlay, and satin. Let's start with a color overlay. We're going to change the color to a goldish kind of looking yellow, which will generally be dark. Then we're going to work on the outer glow, change the opacity to 100%, change the color to pure white, and then increase the size to about 21. Or actually, it'll be 35. Now we're going to go to the bevel. We're going to change it to chisel hard. And then depth is going to go to maximum. And the size will be about 21. Alright, you can change the angle to whatever you feel is necessary. I change mine to 35 or leave it at 30. Or the altitude, that is. And then increase the highlight. And then decrease the shadows just a hair and change the gloss contour to that. I know it looks really dark right now, but I promise you it'll look better. It's just the satin here. Alright, so with this, we're just going to do that. So bring the satin down to about 21% opacity. And you can go ahead and push OK. As you can tell, our text is relatively complete, unless you want to add some additional things to it which I will show you, give you some ideas on how to. But there you go, you can tell it kind of looks maybe like it's chiseled, uh, pierced tone, but it has a very retro look to it at the same time. So I'm going to have that fit the screen, and then we're going to do one last thing, which is select the background layer, then create a new layer so that it opens one up on top of that. Then fill the entire layer with black, and then go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare, we're going to choose 105 prime and put the brightness to about 70 percent. And then you're going to try to put it somewhere that will look stylistically good on your picture. For instance, for me, it'd be right there on the uh, the the lower curve of the S. So as you can see, it has a lot of I don't know pizzazz. I guess would be the word. So that's the entire text effect, as far as I'm concerned. You guys can add whatever you like to it after this, but. I feel this looks good as it is. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to visit us at simostudios.webs.com.